Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us see the part 7 of the same topic. So here we will see the innings 6.4. In this they said, find the product of the following binomial expression. So we have to find the product of this one. So here one of the way to find this product is, we will consider this bracket. From this one, this, there are two terms in it. So we'll take the first term, this is x. And then we'll multiply with this, the second bracket, the whole bracket into x minus a. Then we'll take the second term plus seven along with the sign. And then we will multiply again this bracket. So this is the first step. Then what will you do? We are going to multiply, this will be x square minus eight x then this is plus so plus 7x and this is plus minus is minus 56 so x square minus 8x plus 7x minus 56 so now what we can see these are the like terms this will be same minus 8 plus 7 that is going to be minus 1 so we usually don't write 1 so this will be minus x minus this 56 as it is same over here so we'll take this 2a, 6a plus 3b, plus 5b, 6a plus 5b. So you are going to multiply this into this, that is 12a square. This into this, that is going to be 6ab. This into this, that is going to be 30ab. And this into this, that is going to be 15b square. So this is 12a square. This will be 36ab. And this will be 15 b square. Now same here 2 p square. This will be 12 q square plus 5 p square. Then this minus q square. The same. So this into this that is going to be 24 p square q square. This into this that is going to be 10 p 4. This will be 12 q4 and this is going to be minus 5 p square q square this is the same then we can take here we can see minus p square q square this is also we will take together here then the rest over here so what we can do here now this is p4 so we have taken 10 p4 before then when you because this both are p square q square so 24 minus 5 that is going to be 19 19 p square q square and then we can put this one so this is the answer now here again we'll take this one minus y again this one and you multiply this 0 0.5 into 2 that is going to be 1 so we usually write just x square 0.5 xy minus 2xy minus y square so this is x square both are xy means minus 2 plus minus 2 plus 0.5 so that is going to be minus 1.5 and this is minus y square same here So then minus 1 by 3y and then this together. So now what we can do this into this. So first the coefficients I have put in a bracket for better understanding 3 by 2 into 6 and then the variables z square. Then again for this as well 3 by 2 into 12 I put in a bracket and then the variables that is yz. Same here. 1 by 3 into 6 and then yz but that is minus and here minus and minus becomes plus so the coefficients first 1 by 3 into 12 and this is y square so this is here so now what we can do 2 ones are 2 3 are that will be 9z square then 2 ones are 2 2 6 are that will be 18yz this is going to be 2yz and this will be 4 y square 
this is here alone now see here these both are like terms so minus 18 minus 2 that is going to be minus 20 yz and this is the same so now look at here this is a problem now you can see these both are 7 and this is both 3 ab so there is a formula that is this will be a this also will be a this is b this is also b and the middle sign is a minus b and this will be a plus b so you know the formula a minus b and a plus b that will be a square minus b square so we can follow this one so we will take as a square means 7 square minus here b square means that is 3a b square so this will be 49 and now see here when you are squaring this one be careful the square is for this one that will be the for the coefficient as well as this variable so variable also we have a b so now here 3 square means that is going to be 9 and a b square means again here we have to square for this as well as this so it will be a square b square so this is very important many of them make a mistake over here so this is the answer now same here 5a square and this will take together minus 1 by 5b square and this will be together so this is going to be 50a square x plus 25a square y minus here then this will be minus So this is going to be minus 2 b square x and here minus b square x. So this is the answer. Multiply the following expressions. So now what you are going to do here. First you will take this together. You will multiply this one. So you got here 21 a cube minus 18 a square b and then this one. So now what will we do? We'll follow the same thing what we did in the previous one. We'll take this one term and then this whole bracket. This is what is done. Then you will take this term along with the sign and then this bracket. So now you are going to expand it. This is the after expanding. Again, you are going to expand this one. So minus this one. So here will be 63 a cube b. And again, this is also 36 a cube b. Of this is clear. So these are the like terms. So here, what did I do first? Before a raised to four, so that is taken in the star. Then a square b square. I took it here, and then these both are the like terms. So sixty three minus thirty six. So that is going to be twenty seven a cube b. So this is here. Same here. First, we are going to expand this one so this is that, that expand this one so this is the answer now you will take one term and then this whole bracket again this term and this whole bracket expand this this into this is the 78 this into this is 24 z4 468 z4 144 z5 so now take this is z5 so i took it at the start along with the sign z4 so i took this one along with the sign again this is also z4 so because the like terms together and then z3 so this will be same 24 minus 468 that is going to be minus one four uh, minus four 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 and this is z4 and then this one so this is the answer again for this one we'll take this and then this whole together plus b this together so this is here this is here so 12 Plus minus 6ab plus 6ab will get cancelled. So this minus b square here. So this is the answer. So this will be together here.
Now you will take this term, then this together. Again, you will take this term and then this together. Then you will take this term and then this together. So this into this, this into this. So this is the answer. This into this, this into this. So this is the answer. This into this, this into this. So this is the answer for that one. Now you will take, if you can see the any like terms, this will be as it is. This will be as it is, as it is. But then what we can do here, because these both are like terms. So this is going to be 9x4 y square. And this will be as it is. So this is the answer. We cannot do further anything. Again, for this one, you can just see everything is clear here. All the steps are given. It is the same method. You can just have a look with this one. This is the answer. Now for this one, again, what will you do? First, you will multiply this and this. And then, see, here, what will be that? 3 pqr plus 3 q square r and then 3 qr square. So this should be multiplied first and then and then you will follow the same method. You will take this one, then this bracket together. You will take this term and then again this bracket. Take this term and again multiply with this bracket. So now you are going to expand this one. So you get this one. After expanding this one, you get this. After expanding this, you get this one. Now you can see any like terms are there. So this and this gets cancelled. You can see any other like terms are there, otherwise, right as it is. So, this is one here 3p, then so by this one, we are completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.